There are few rescues more dangerous than attempting to save people aboard a sinking boat in the open ocean at night in rough seas. One of those rescues happened off the coast of Nova Scotia last night. It involved 31 fishermen, rescue crews from two countries, and some brave and steady work. Ross Lord has the story. The final four crew members are removed from the Atlantic Destiny Scallop Trawler, the end of a treacherous attempt to save 31 men. Imagine you're playing darts, except the dartboard is moving and you have to hit bullseyes and it's in the dark and you're running around the entire time instead of being stationary as you throw. The Atlantic Destiny was fishing about 220 kilometers south of Yarmouth, Nova Scotia at George's Bank. At 8.20 p.m. there was a distress call from the trawler about a fire in the engine room. A fire suppression system kicked in, but the boat lost power. Waves were rolling to 8 meters high, vicious winds gusting to almost 100 kilometers an hour. The crew couldn't stop water from flooding in. At one point, there was even a flare-up of the fire, compounding an emergency that could easily have ended in tragedy. Canadian and American search and rescue technicians teamed up to save lives. The hoisting area was probably like a four by eight section of the, uh, on the stern, on the right side, on the starboard side. So it was, uh, it was a really tight spot to be able to get the basket down. You just think about all the different things that could happen. Um, you know, we, we, we get a guy in the basket and maybe we smash him into the boat by accident or the cable gets caught on something. Their bravery inspired the survivors. The guy's cheering, um, like, yeah, you got another one. Uh, so that, that, that's, it's good to hear from them. They're in good spirits and they're definitely happy that they're off the boat. Safe with no injuries. The Atlantic Destiny, on the other hand, has sunk. Its owners hope insurance will cover that loss. Number one is our people got off. We can, we can replace a boat. You can't replace lives. Ross Lord, Global News.